guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because there are new figure images that have emerged today. This is our second video. I couldn't wait to do the first one uh, because a new image of the Fiend figure, the first official Mattel Fiend figure uh, has emerged. So we've done a video on that. Uh, don't worry, you don't need to go anywhere. We're going to include it here as well. Um, so, yes, there is a video that hit the channel earlier, but now we're going to look at everything. Uh, before we get any further, there's a couple of things I want to mention. First of all, Wrestling Shop Live, November 16th, 17th. You can meet me there in London's Leicester Square for free. Uh, Bill McKenna, uh, the head designer of the Elite Figures, he will be there as well, plus more figures will be revealed at Wrestling Shop Live. Um, so there's a whole video on that as well. I will put a link uh, on screen right now to that video if you want further information about that. Uh, the second thing I'm going to mention as well is the Wrestling Days t-shirts. Uh, these are available to purchase. Um, so if you're in the US, you can get them from the Urban Species Amazon store. Uh, in the US, I think Canada as well. If you're in the UK, just go straight to Urban Species uh, because on uh, the website, uh, they uh, have them there. So there we go. Perfect stocking filler. I don't know why you would want to put a t-shirt in a stocking, but if you did, you can. Uh, but anyway, all of that to one side. Let's get to the figures. Uh, so here we go. Let's start with that Fiend image. This is just a sneak peek. We've got no idea what series this is going to be a part of. We've got no idea when this is coming out. We don't know if the lantern is going to be an accessory. Uh, no news on Funhouse Prey. No news on puppets. No news on packaging. This is literally all we've got. But it's more than we had. And uh, that figure looks absolutely awesome. Moving on. We've got AJ Styles. This is Basic Series 103. We're like up to 103 now, which is quite impressive. Uh, which, you know, is pretty standard stuff. Uh, nothing too exciting. Uh, we've got Becky Lynch. I'm, I'm quite excited for this one. This is Basic 103 as well. Um, and she is wearing the man top, which uh, looks really cool. Uh, I can't see if it's got the belly button issue. I think it has. I think they've literally just painted over like the belly button, which is like a real big frustration of mine. Um, but this is a basic, so I suppose I can let them off a little bit. But I really do want them to get that sorted in the long run. But a very important figure because obviously uh, the whole man gimmick, such a massive part of uh, 2019. There's an alternative as well. This is the Chase Becky. It says Relent Lass. Um, I don't know. I think that might be before her whole man thing uh, when she became the man. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like that one might be a little bit out of date now. Uh, moving on, we're still on Basic Series 103. We've got Brock Lesnar, who's coming back into the line, which obviously makes a lot of sense. Brock Lesnar, the current WWE champion. Uh, and we've got the former WWE champion, uh, Kofi Kingston. Uh, he will also be in Basic Series 103. I, I can't tell. Is that the same ring attire as the New Day Battle Pack that's coming out? I have to keep a look, uh, an eye out for that because I've got a feeling that it could be. Uh, and then obviously you'd be able to have the New Day in that green and orange attire. Uh, we've got Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle is in uh, Series 103, uh, which looks really cool. Great face scan on that Matt Riddle. Uh, big fan of that figure. Big fan of him. Uh, I, I think the Elite is going to get uh, be a must-get because uh, hopefully it'll have like the little flip-flops. Uh, I should imagine it'll have the cap and like a little jacket as well. Uh, but this basic's still pretty cool. Uh, we got uh, Daniel Bryan, and I absolutely love the head on this. The face scan on this looks to be the same as that Elite that comes with the Eco-Friendly Championship. So the face on this is absolutely brilliant, but this is the basic Daniel Bryan that's on the way. And these are, for me, amongst the very, very best Daniel Bryan figures ever. Uh, we've got Keith Lee. Uh, Keith Lee is uh, Series 104, Basic 104. 
Uh, I should mention Daniel Bryan is basic 104 as well. Uh, great looking Keith Lee figure and he is a chase. So you can get him in uh, blue. Uh, you can get him in black as well. Uh, really great face scan. Uh, True FX just really coming into its own now. So yeah, big, big fan of those. Uh, basic 104 again. We got Randy Orton. Uh, always good to see him coming into the line. Uh, lots of tattoo detail there and a really good face scan. Uh, we got Rey Mysterio, and I really like this figure. I really like this figure. It's uh, black attire, uh, purple uh, highlights on it. Great tattoo detail. It's got the mohawk on the mask. This is like the first basic of the new current Rey Mysterio. Um, I think that looks great. Like, for a basic, there's so much detail there. I think a lot of people might really underestimate that figure, but don't make that mistake. That figure is awesome. Uh, we got Lashley and Finn Balor. They're going to be a battle pack. Battle pack series 63. Uh, Lashley comes with the Intercontinental Championship. I think there's a little bit of red around the back of the knee pads for Finn Balor. Uh, so that's a perfectly good way to get two... Uh, decent superstars uh, and we've got the New Day battle pack we were talking about and yes they are in orange and green so you can get that Kofi figure we looked at earlier you can get this battle pack and then you've got the New Day in that orange and green attire also comes with like a plate of pancakes as well so that might be uh, quite a fun way to get the New Day uh, loads of detail on the ring attire but uh there always is when it comes to the New Day. They have great ring attire. Next up, we've got Peyton Royce. This is going to be an elite figure. She's the Target exclusive for uh, Series 73, Elite 73. Uh, I think it looks really cool. It looks very similar to uh, the Peyton Royce that was in the Battle Pack. But uh, this one obviously comes with some accessories. Most notably, the Iconics t-shirt. So uh, you know they're working on a Billy Kay. Uh, but Peyton Royce looks awesome. AJ Styles from Elite 74. Uh, he is in fluorescent attire. Uh, love the hands. Love the entrance jacket. Really great figure. I don't know who doesn't have an AJ Styles by now. But still, this is a very strong entry. Next, we got Finn Balor. Elite 74. Red attire with a jacket. Uh, really love that jacket. I really love that smiley face that he's got as well. Um, and it's really great we're getting normal Finn Balor's in the Elite line. It's been a long, long time. Like, all the Finn Balor's that were coming out were demon figures. Uh, but now we're actually getting normal Elite Finn Balor's. And uh, really love that. Love the hands and how they're, like, really open. Uh, yeah, some great details there. You can see the back as well of the jacket and the detail that's on the back. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, Goldberg. Goldberg is coming into the line. Elite Series 74. Uh, really like this Goldberg. Comes with a championship belt, I believe. Uh, they certainly showed him holding a uh, World Heavyweight Championship at Ringside Fest. Uh, so, yeah, great screaming facial expression there. Um, but talking of screaming facial expressions, look at this one from Jim the Anvil Neidhart. I would love to have Goldberg. Face to face with this Jim Neidhart. Just the two of them screaming at each other. Um, but Jim the Anvil Neidhart has got uh, a brilliant jacket as well. Great facial expression. This is so much better. Like a million times better than the Jim Neidhart we had like back in Series 40 summer. I can't even quite remember what series it was. Um, but it was when we had uh, Jim Neidhart and Bret Hart both in the same series. And you could make the Hart Foundation. This is so much better. It's obviously a little bit later, but uh, it looks amazing. I really love that. So that's going to be uh, Elite 74, but the Walmart exclusive. Uh, it's a Heart Foundation. You can see the back of the jacket. There's quite a few uh, other Heart Foundation figures that came out in that Legend series when Mattel first took over the line. So this is going to look awesome uh, next to like, Davy Boy Smith and Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, talking of cool, we got Natalia, uh, who obviously wrestled the first women's match uh, along with Lacey Evans. Uh, she obviously wasn't wearing this because this uh, is a little bit revealing in places. 
but looks really cool. She is long overdue an elite figure. She really should have had one by now, but I'm going to let them off because this one is exceptional. This might be the best Natalia figure ever made. Moving on, we've got Lince Dorado. He is a chase figure in Elite 74. So he comes with the piñata. He comes with Penelope. Uh, and uh, he's got a great Lucha House Party top on. Um, and uh, you can get him in gold or you can get him in that kind of like blue and black. Uh, it looks really cool. I, I really like both, actually. Uh, I think there's uh, kind of arguments for both of them. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool. And, of course, we've we've had Grand Metal League, so Kalisto uh, is on the way. Uh, you'll be able to create Lucha House Party very soon. Kurt Angle is a network spotlight figure. Uh, looks really cool. Love that medal. Really do. Uh, with the stars all over the strap. I think that looks absolutely amazing. So, uh, love the look of that. Uh, we've got Woken Matt Hardy. He is going into the uh, Network Spotlight line. This is the Matt Hardy that was in the Epic Moments pack. Uh, the Ultimate Deletion, I think. And uh, you actually even get the boat uh, that was going to be in that pack as well. So, uh, they're trying to find a way of getting these figures uh, still out to market. Uh, that's, that's really fun. I mean, you get a boat. What else do you want? You get a boat. So, uh, yeah, really excited for that. We could do so many fun videos with that, thinking about it. A boat? A boat match? Imagine having a boat match. Uh, next, we've got Ricochet. Uh, comes with the United States Championship. Uh, obviously, the Ricochet top as well. Uh, I think this looks really cool, but I've got to be honest, I don't think it looks as good as the Ricochet we just had. Uh, I don't think it has, like, the same impact uh, the ring attire on the one that just came out is stunning. Uh, this will go into the Network Spotlight series. And this next one, honestly, I, I, you're not going to believe me, but I'm more excited about this than I am about The Fiend because I, I knew The Fiend was coming. We all knew that Mattel were going to make The Fiend, right? No, no massive surprise there. But I did not know if we would get this figure. This is Wendy Richter. One of the greatest female wrestlers of all time. Uh, former WWF Women's Champion. You even get a belt that we've never had before. Uh, I've never seen Mattel make that belt before. So uh, you're getting a belt we've not seen before. Wendy Richter, a superstar that a lot of people might not have heard of. But she wrestled on the early WrestleMania cards. Uh, she was a big deal in the 80s. Had a feud with Fabulous Moolah. And uh, you get some great looking glasses, a belt we've never had, a figure I didn't expect. Um, they did show this figure a long time ago and then it got shelved. Uh, so it looks like it's finally coming out. I am over the moon about that. Next, we've got Bobby Lashley. Uh, this is going to be the Royal Rumble series. Uh, and this is really cool because it comes with the ECW Championship, the old version. Uh, and that only came with a few figures. So you're going to be able to get your hands on that if you haven't already. Moving on, we got Lita. She's going to be in the Royal Rumble series as well. Uh, looking really cool. Obviously, a lot of fans of Attitude Era and uh, Ruthless Aggression Era. And uh, a lot of people are going to want to pick this Lita up. Um, and it looks great. Uh, also, in the Royal Rumble series, we got the Macho King, Randy Savage. Comes with a bandana. I don't think we've had a Macho Man or Macho King that comes with a bandana before. Uh, so that looks awesome. And he comes with the scepter. Love the ring attire. That, that's really cool. I really like that figure. Uh, next, we've got the rock. Uh, pretty standard rock. Uh, but I do like the hands. Comes with the spinner belt. It's been a long time, man. Long time since I've seen that belt in a Mattel uh, figure. So uh, that's in the Royal Rumble series also. Uh, then we've got Masters of the WWE Universe Series 2. I'm just going to quickly go through these because... Personally, I'm not a massive fan. Um, so we've got John Cena, which does look quite cool. Uh, we've got uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, which also looks quite cool. Uh, we've got Rey Mysterio, who I will admit does look quite cool. And uh, we've got Roman Reigns, which I could probably leave. His legs look really thin, actually. Like, is it just me or do, it, do his legs look really, really thin? Maybe it's just the angle of the picture or something, but uh, there we go. Uh, Masters of the WWE Universe. 
Uh, and uh, finally, we've got a few more things. We've got a very early sneak peek at Sasha Banks. Now, that looks to me like it's blue hair. So uh, I'm guessing this is going to be the new heel Sasha that returned. So very excited about that. Uh, that apparently is going to be a ringside collectibles exclusive. And look at that jacket. Uh, absolutely brilliant. You even get like the little uh, knuckle dusters, the shades. That is going to make an exceptional Sasha figure. Uh, and then we've got some ultimate additions. You can see right here that we've got uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, and uh, also we've got Shawn Michaels. Those two are forthcoming ultimate additions. So yes, yeah, so much stuff. So much stuff there. Uh, a lot to be excited about. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. For me, it's all about The Fiend. But honestly, I'm more excited about that Wendy Richter. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, there was another image I saw, so I'll just add it here. This, I think, is Viscera. Uh, so they've taken a Mabel figure uh, and they've just added, like, uh, a few Viscera touches to it. We know there is a Viscera figure on the way. Uh, so it looks like they're just trying to show you what that's going to look like. Um, but uh, yeah, no official images of that yet. Uh, just this kind of like work in progress. So thought I would include it here. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.